Welcome back to Mitford Pottery. It's been a while. What we're going to do today, we've been very busy doing various things, especially with our new studio Spire Pottery. And it's rekindled my enthusiasm for agate ware. So we've never done a video for a while. So with this one, short, shortish video, and it'll be uh, a series of videos when we do the mix, we're going to colour some clay. So I've been weighing out the clay, so we got uh, one kilogram balls of clay, and we got four colours. We got, uh, I'm using nano, Scarver Nano colours, so I've got jet black. We have... A royal blue, we got cactus green, and we got a red, a flame burst red. I don't know how much is in there, we're waiting to get enough out of that because I've already used some. Because we need 10%, and we only got about about half so we only got so we might do the red red tends to go pink anyway it's very hard to, to get a good red but the other three are good to go and basically how you mix it is you slice your clay up you add the powder and then you knead it until it takes on the color so I'll drop the camera down, so that's the workbench there, which does need cleaning out all the time. And to get a close-up, we got the old uh, action cam on here, which I'm just going to switch on. As you'll hear. And we'll get that into position so we can see all of what's going on when we do the kneading. Uh, we do have a necessary piece of equipment, if I can remember where they are, they are here. Latex gloves, because your hands tend to take on the colour of the clay. So we'll just put these in first. Get these fellas on. Get the action cam gunning. So we are running. So we'll swap over to the action cam once we get into the action. Right, a wire. So I like say it's a kilogram. So what I tend to do is just slice it into layers. We'll run through the first colour. And then we'll just do a recap at the end because it's basically repeating the same thing over and over again, which is a bit boring. But we'll show you the results at the end. So we've sli sliced our clear, and what I do is I go like that, just to give it a, a rough surface for the uh, powder to, to sit on. Now we want to get them out of the way so we don't contaminate them. So we'll, uh, we'll line them up the way they came off. So we got them, so we're going to cover these in powder. Uh, what should we go for? We need those scales first. So we've got some tiny little scales. Switch them on. We need a little cup. If I can reach one without getting in the way of the camera. Just a little plastic cup. Put that on there, reset that. So we need a kilogram, so it's 100 grams. Uh, that's 100 grams, so we'll weigh it out. I don't think there's enough in here for red. Well, there might be. Well, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, oh we're only 10 grams short. We'll go for a pink colour then while we've got it weird out. So we've got 91 grams of red colourant in there. Do we get the, our 
it shows up well on the camera as well so so what I tend to do is sprinkle our colorant on there layer it on sprinkle some more on that do that you mightn't get it all in on the first go and what I tend to do the last one keep the, all the lumps together so we've got a little bit left so what I'm going to do I'm going to knead this first and this is the bit that's good for your aerobics and don't worry because it goes very dry when you're kneading it and it's just like making pastry but messier until it gets started So as you can see, the colourant starting to go into the clear itself. And we just got to keep going till we get a good, consistent colour. You've got to scoop it up and fold it over every now and again. Try and keep it as contained as you possibly can. And as you, as the dust spreads out, just work around way around you your work surface and it will pick it up so now it's starting to get a bit more pliable so you see it does go very dry with the powder until the powder starts to take on the moisture in the clear so we're going to dab up all our overspill as you can see it's uh, and now this is white stoneware which takes color pretty well because of its white background and like I see this one's going to be more of a pink soft pink color than anything So we got that in, we got a bit more to add, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, going to open this fella up in a few layers, like that, put some more holes in and just use our last bit of powder up, put that in there. In there, Not in there, get everything out. Ooh. Right, that's all our colours done. So, back to this. So, we're going to fold it over to start with. Try not to lose too much powder out of it this is a bit you just got to keep going because it will look terrible for a little while so I'm going to stop talking now we'll speed this bit up until we're finished so I'm just going to keep kneading and blending until we get a good consistent so we don't get any streaks like that so it's all nice and even throughout the clear and there we have it so we'll switch back to the big cam so there you go it's all that's now pink clear so we swap back over so it's nice and pink all blended and ready next job is uh, we'll use uh, we'll use one of our balls of clay up I suppose so we need our scales back so we're going to get our scales 
switch them on. Get our scales back. Could do with another light, I think. Next is so we got our coloured clear, so we got our white, our white body here, and our pink. So I want 500 grams total with a mix of uh, pink and clear and uh, the white stoneware. Now, what I'll do, I think I'll get a knife. Where's my knife? I know you can use a wire, but uh, we need relatively small amounts, so I'm just going to use a pallet knife. So we got 500, and I usually go off 100 grams per, per layer. So I'm going to take the first slither, see how much that is. So that's 88, nearly. As a hundred, so we. So I'm going to make lots of hundred gram balls of clear, and line them up over here. Probably easier just ripping it off instead of cutting it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the gloves off because I do not want to make my white clear coloured. So I don't want any colouring in them at all. So we're going to go through the same, get this lighting right in the end, I suppose. Won't I? Shall we try it over here? Try it over here so we can see. Get this wire out of the way. Get this wire out of the way. That's better. Let's see what's going on now. Right. So we got our red prepped or pink. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And a little bit. So we're gonna do the same with this, we're gonna do hundred grams. So that's that bit prepped, how long are we doing? 20 minutes, oh we'll have to speed that up a bit. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Kilogram, that. Right, scales out of the way. Switch them off. Right. So now we're ready to make our agate wear. So what we do, we get our little balls of clear. Make a little putty, make a little disc, like so. So, we're going to top this up to 500 grams. So, there should be 200 grams. Now, it depends which how many layers of colour you want. So, I'm going to go. Three layers of colour on this one. So we've got our three layers of colour. So obviously we want our in between layers. Like that. So that's going to be, this is going to make our agate wear.
So, going to, we're going to build it up. So we alternate our layers. So we go, we go red, white, and try not to get any air trapped in them. And red, so push them from the inside out. And white, red, So there's our, our coloured sandwich, so 500 grams, so that'll make a 500 gram mug. And what I'll do, I'll move our balls of clay out to one side, so we don't knock them. And then, now this is the bit that takes a little bit of practice. Now, we're going to need it again but we only need about 10 needs. So I'll just go over to the big camera. Just get a better, better view. Dun -dun. So that's going to all get folded together. So we gently start to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I've got about 14 there. So that's now all spiralled up. And what I will do on this one, just to show you, so you can see the results on this one, we'll cut it in half for you. Are you watching now? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So this should have a spiral of pink clear in it. So there you go. Probably over needed it a little bit. But that's going to get thrown as it is. So I'm going to stick that together. That will get thrown like that. So we'll go, we'll switch the action cam off. And we'll go to the big cam because that's it for this part. Shift our camera up. So there you go. So that's making some agate red or pink and white agate wear. I'm going to plow on and do green, black and blue and then come back to part two when we'll have, although not a part two, maybe it's a, an addition to this video if I can trim it down to under half an hour. We'll have a recap and we'll show you all the colours that we have done and then there'll be another throwing video. So thanks for watching, see you in a minute by the magic of editing. That's hard work that is. So just to recap, we got on our colouring clear, we got pink and white agate wear prepared, ready, 
Uh, I've got other colours to do, but whew, sweat on. Uh, I have prepared the blue, which you've just seen in the action cam. So that's 10%, as you can see. Certain colours have better results. I've found um, blue, purple, black tend to get more favourable results than your reds, which tend to go pink. Your greens tend to go a bit wishy-washy, as do your yellows. Um, I think the reds would probably need to up the percentage of colourant to get a more vivid red. You're probably looking at more like 15% maybe uh, of the red colourant. But that's it for that for today. Uh, check back. We will be doing a throwing video on agate wear, pink agate wear and blue agate wear. So until next time, so clears the way, check back, check online, shop is now on my website and drop us a line, get in contact, like, subscribe, comment, all that. Clears the way, see you in another video very soon, bye for now.